Pope, what's happening? Lunch with Bomb. What did your workout look like today? When you come on, drop me some thumbs up, give me some love. Topic of the day is non-negotiables. If you're gonna come on, you're watching live, drop a one. You're watching the replay, drop a two. If you're watching the, uh, you're a first timer, drop a three. Love to connect with you. I actually had uh, some great conversations with a few folks earlier today, just connecting. You know, I think one of the biggest things that a lot of folks struggle with is uh, support structure. And uh, one of the uh, kind of the points this morning was like, keep going, don't quit. Whatever you do, don't quit. Too many people quit too soon. I talked yesterday about, you know, we're in the sixth week, going into the seventh week of the year, and most folks, even if they did have a New Year's resolution, it's gone, you know? So anyway, uh, my name is Frank Baumholtz. Been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years. Uh, live in the dream. Uh, also run my own gym, MVP. We got things blowing up over there. Uh, if you've been missing any, uh, f check out my Instagram. Uh, we've got our uh, baseball, softball hitting academy going. Uh, the batting cages are up. We also have the sport performance training side of things. I think it's one of the most uh, missed pieces with so many athletes nowadays. I see kids all the time, uh, blown up ankles, blown up knees. Uh, you know, they're injured all the time. And it's because they play too much. They play too much and they don't train enough. Uh, and if somebody tells me uh, that, uh, you know, you need to play more uh, to get better, uh, more isn't better, it's just more, you know. And a lot of kids nowadays, they're so overloaded. Uh, one of my kids the other day said she hasn't had a day off in three weeks. So what do we do? Uh, we just go through a mobility and stretch session and, uh, you know, treat it as a recovery day because me beating up on her and making her grind it out even more and more, uh, what's the point? Right. So but my my thing is uh, for a lot of folks, I uh, actually talked to some folks. We had a great upper body session. Uh, so someone was asking me, how do you set your week up, you know, with your workouts? And generally what we do at MVP is Mondays and Fridays uh, are our metabolic, you know, our kind of cardio days. And then the other days are our strength days. So we break it up that way. You know, if you can get two strength days a week and two metabolic or cardio days a week, that's a really good balance, you know, and, and our kind of cardio is, uh, you know, more of some metabolic circuit type training uh, versus long steady state cardio. So a little bit different in what we're talking about, but um, you know, that's kind of the sweet spot. So two and two is really good. Anyway, today was more of an upper body strength day, uh, you know, ended up being a little more pressing than, uh, than anything, but uh, it was really good. But my, my topic of the day is on non-negotiables, right? Non-negotiables. Non what are what are things that you are not willing to give up? And I've been a big proponent and advocate of writing things down. Okay, so many people don't write things down. If you if you want it, if you want change, if you want to change something, it has to be measurable. All right, and you have to put it to paper. And I'm gonna I'm gonna beat that uh, till the cows come home. I mean, it is like so important. If you want change, if you want to make behavioral change in your life it it has to be measurable and you have to put it to paper all right and then you also have to have the barriers that are going to come up how are you going to handle those but my topic is a little bit different today it's about what are your non-negotiables what are the things that you're not going to give up you know one of the things of for me is you know the family time you know we try to sit down to dinner uh, every evening and that's one of the non-negotiables uh, you know, I try to f like dial my nutrition in, you know, 90% of the time. And then the other 10% is just 10%. You know, I like a, a good pint of IPA and some chips and salsa every once in a while. You know, so I'm not going to be, you know, totally anti and completely give it up. But I'm dialed in pretty much the rest of the time. I'm not a big sweet tooth much anymore. Uh, you know, I don't like ice cream all that much anymore. Every once in a blue moon when I'm with the girls, I might do that. But I have my non-negotiables and I have those things written down, okay? And you need to do that too. I think the biggest thing always, and I've talked, I can't remember how many of these I've done with, uh, you know, talking with folks and talking to you about, you know, you got to put things on paper. Only 3% of the population ever write their goals down. And if you have a plan and you're going to work the plan and then you also factor in your non-negotiables, 
you know, then you have a recipe for success. So many people, uh, they want the pot of gold, but don't want to work for it. It's the same thing here. We did a little complex uh, in my class, uh, you know, a group of eight exercise or group of five exercises, eight reps each. You know, the bar's not very heavy, and all of a sudden, it all it gets adverse. You know, you get into the latter stages of the complex, and the the mind starts thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. You know, and you know, the coaching and accountability, and there's people in the group and in the class, and they're encouraging and they're kind of, come on, you got one more rep, you know, and but you know, using a lighter weight and then also focusing on good technique, you know, not gonna sacrifice those things. You know, I was telling somebody this morning, you know, what is a non negotiable? Non negotiable, something that you're gonna do every day. You know, if it's important to you, do it every day. If it's not important, you don't do it. You know, I joke with my kids and students, even clients. I says, you know, it's like brushing your teeth and putting on clean shorts. You know, if it's important to you, you do it. If it's not important to you, then you don't do it. Or you make an excuse why people make, people make excuses all the time about why they can't uh, exercise. You know, why they don't have time. Why they why why they they should lose thirty pounds but they don't. You know why they? I mean, just you know they. What is a Chris says, you know, they're just shooting all over themselves. You know, they, they should do this and should do that, but they never do it. And by the pilot is, is number one. I see some folks on here. I see Mark, James, what's up? Jenna, what's up? Hey, there are some great coaches, you know, go through my Facebook. You can, if you're friends with me and you're like, I don't even know where to start, reach out to me. Uh, I was talking with a few folks this morning and it's just about making connection, you know, and asking for help or actually just asking for motivation. I think that's one of the biggest things. There's so many people out here that, uh, uh, who was it? Will, who was that that posted that picture? You know, there's so much nonsense on social media nowadays is that you have to be able to filter through all the nonsense with, uh, you know, guys posting about they did this in the in the their workout and shoot I'm even I'm on Facebook live and Instagram live right now what would happen if Facebook live and Instagram live went away you know how many the the comment the post was how many trainers would be out of business uh, if they didn't have social media because they don't ever train anybody you got to get in the trenches you got to get in the trenches I mean I I see hundreds 250 plus kids every single day get in the trenches and grind it out with them you know that's when you're truly going to know, you know, and then you can help them, you know, put a plan in place. You know, we're talking about non-negotiables and what are the things that you're not willing to give up. You know, for me, I'm not willing to sacrifice my nutrition. I'm not willing to, uh, you know, uh, skip my workouts weeks on end and then make excuses why I can't do things. You know, have a plan, work the plan. So for me, uh, you know, I mentioned a while back. If you want one of my transformation plans, uh, I have a, it's a 30 some pages, kind of dials out, here's a meal plan, here's kind of our workout plan, here's our nutritionals that we use, puts a system in place. So many people uh, don't have a plan that they can work off of, and then they don't have any non-negotiables because everything's negotiable, and they just free willy nilly everything, and then they wonder why they can't, you, you can't make you know, any progress. So we're in week six, week seven of the new year. How many of you are, you know, progressing? You know, if I lost an average of half a pound to a pound, let's just say one pound, make it easy, one pound a week. Are you seven pounds in minimum? Minimum of seven pounds in to your, whatever your goal is. Maybe it's 20 pounds, maybe it's 30 pounds. You know, here's the biggest thing too, is that so many people, it's not like, uh, oh, I was talking with another student earlier today about, you know, the old apple a day. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. What happens if you tried to eat 30 apples in one day? You know, it's like for the month, right? You'd probably get sick. But if I took one, one, I had an apple each day. Actually, I had an apple earlier today. An apple a day, a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, have uh, you have a little extra protein for lunch. Maybe you have, uh, you know, we have a, a great superfood drink. You know, a little bit each day. If you can get 1% better every single day, you know, still keep your non-negotiables. I think you have to be human. You got to be real about things, okay? Have that, have those things in place, you know, a year from now, three months from now, 30 days from now, how much better are you going to be because you, you took one little apple each day, you know, do one little thing each day over a month over two months, over 12 months, 
You know, most, most folks that I, I work with at the gym, you know, they're coming and they say, you know, I want to lose 20, 30, whatever pounds, right? And if they didn't, that, they didn't get that way overnight, you know? It's like, I, you know, I gained a little bit here and I gained a little bit there and I gained a couple pounds this year. All of a sudden, you know, 20 years later, you know, after you got, if you're an athlete like me, you, you got done playing and you were still living the same types of, you're eating the same way, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're playing the same way with your uh, nutrition. And then all of a sudden, you know, 20 years later, you're 40 pounds heavier or you're 20 pounds heavier. And then you know what to do, but you just don't know how to start and get going again. Once folks get going again, you got to come. If, uh, if any of you know my, my man, Tim Harris, you got to come and train with that boy because that guy is off the hook right now. He is, uh, he, what I see, Paul, four, let's see, maybe September, October, uh, maybe, maybe four months into his training. And the guy I put check out on my, uh, my story, uh, he was running some shuttle runs last night in one of our circuit, crushing it. Right, you know, most so many so many folks don't know how to start. It's always the start that stops most people, right? And whatever journey that they're going to go on, or whatever uh, wherever the destination they want to go to, it's just getting going. Sometimes you got to go and then don't quit. But if you have the people, you have the coach, you have all the pieces in place, you have your plan, you know, have your non-negotiables, right? I'm saying have your non-negotiables. I'm not saying give up everything. But you got to have your plan in place and you got to work the plan. And then you got to have the support structure to lean, lean on. There's lots of times. I talked about it yesterday. You know, folks rolled into the gym and it was like head down, dragging butts. Monday, every day is Friday, people. Remember? Every day is Friday. Uh, once again, uh, just recapping. Non-negotiables. Have some things you're not willing to give up. But follow the 90% rule. If you're willing to do it 90% of the time, you'll be amazed what uh, you can accomplish. Don't forget about our MVP Hitting Academy we got going on Saturdays and Sundays. I've posted comments. We're also, we got a holiday coming up. All right, President's Day. All the kids are off of school. If you guys are off of school and you're in the Yamhill County area, Portland area, and you need a place to come hit, uh, we've got our Hitting Academy. We'll be up and running on Monday as well. So give us a, give us a jingle, shoot me a message, and we'll get you all dialed in. Once again, I value everything you guys got going on. If you value what I got going, like it and share it. Appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you want, jump over on my Insta Live for a second. I'm going to let that run for a couple more minutes. And then uh, I'm going to roll. Lunch with Bomb out.